This is the solution to quiz four. Okay, find n of t. Okay, so by this point, we know actually two different ways uh, to, to solve this. Ah, but really, there's only one, one good way. Okay, so then, <clears throat> uh, in the first place, n of t is the antiderivative of the derivative of n of t. So this would be antiderivative of 230.566t, and then over t squared plus 1 dt. Uh, so now we're going to make a substitution. We'll do u is t, uh, whoops, u is t squared plus 1. So that du is uh, 2t dt. But we don't need that 2 on the right hand side, so I'll move it to the left. So du over 2 is t dt. Okay, making that substitution, the new antiderivative is uh, antiderivative 230.566 TDT is replaced with du over 2, so this is uh, over u, and then du over 2. <coughs> So then that, uh, those constants can be factored out. Uh, those constants can be factored out so that we'll get what? 230, 230.566 over 2. We get 115.2800. Antiderivative one over u du. <coughs> uh, so that this is one one five point two eight three uh, times the natural log of the absolute value of u. But I'll go ahead and replace that with t squared plus one. Save myself a step plus c, and then I can see that t squared plus 1 is always positive, so I'll drop the absolute value. So now to determine c, We'll use the fact that the epidemic began, that is, day zero, uh, n of zero is 1326. So plugging in zero, that would be 115.283 times the natural log of 1 plus a constant is equal to uh, 1326. But the natural log of 1 is 0, so c is 1326. And as a result, the answer is n of t is equal to 115.283 times the natural log of t squared plus 1 plus 1326. <coughs> Okay, and then part B is asking about 
n of 20. So what happens when you plug in 20? That would be 115.283 times the natural log of 20 squared. Well, that's 400 plus 1 plus 1326. Okay, so I'll type that into the calculator. <coughs> 115.283 times the natural log of 401 plus 1326 <laughs> is rounded to the nearest person 2017. For question two, shade the area. Okay, so you can see that this function is uh, not continuous, but it is uh, non-negative everywhere. So the area indicated by that integral is that rectangle. triangle plus that quarter circle. Okay, so then uh, that integral will be the area of this one area of the red plus the area of the green plus the area of the quarter circle. Well, taking measurements here, this has uh, base 2 and height 3. The triangle has base um, 4 and height 3. And then the quarter circle has radius 4. So then the area is six plus base times height uh, over two so that'd be one half base height so one half of twelve and then this plus uh, one fourth because it's one fourth of a circle pi r squared so then simplifying this that's a six that's a six so altogether that's twelve and then plus uh, 16 over 4 is 4, so 4 pi. 12 plus 4 pi. Okay, so now evaluate this. Okay. Uh, well, let's plot. Let's take a look at y is absolute value x plus 2. So if we plot this, then that looks like this. And we want to know the area between negative 5 and positive 2 so that is to say we want the area of
that green triangle uh, plus that blue triangle. Okay, well, let's make measurements. Okay, so then this can be done pretty simply with just areas of triangles, so that's what I'm going to do. So for measurements, uh, the distance between negative 5 and negative 2, this is 3. And then if you plug in negative 5 into there, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, absolute value of which is 3. And then plus this uh, other slightly bigger triangle, its measurements are, well, the distance between 2 and negative 2 is 4. And then if you plug 2 into there, you get 4. So the answer is 1 half times 9 plus 1 half times 16. So simplifying that, that's 25 over 2. Okay, and then part, uh, part B is, um, can't be done quite so easily with just a picture, so we'll go ahead and use uh, the fundamental theorem. So the fundamental theorem, I'll use the substitution u is 2w plus 1. So du is 2 dw. But I don't need that 2 on the right-hand side, so I'll move it to the left-hand side. du over 2 is dw. And then uh, I'll change the limits. u evaluated when w is 0 is 1 and u evaluated when w is 3 is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So the correspondence is this red stuff gets covered by this. So that red w stuff gets covered by that red u stuff. This green w stuff gets covered by this green u stuff. And this blue W limits gets covered by these uh, blue U limits. So as a result, the new integral is integral 1 to 7 U cubed DU over 2. So, besides that, over 2 is just a standard um, antiderivative. So, u to 4 over 4, and then evaluate from 1 to 7. So, simplifying just slightly, 1 eighth, u to 4, 1 to 7. So that, I'll factor out that 1 eighth, and then that will be 7 to 4 minus 1 to 4. 7 to 4, that sounds like a calculator exercise to me. So 7 to 4 and minus 1. That's 2400. So that's 1 eighth of, tw uh, sorry, 1 eighth of 2400. And surely that's 300, right? Yeah. 